Welcome. We're here at breakfast, breakfast at Friends at the Riverview Restaurant just outside of Oswego, outside of Chicago, Illinois. One of those high tax states that might get hit by state and local taxes, even though the tax law has had amazing implications for this country. Now, I got to be selfish. This man right here is the brother of my father. Todd Hegseth. I teased him earlier on in the show. He's he's deplorable Todd, really, as he's known on Twitter. Uh, Todd, thank you for being here. Actually, I'm sure. glad to be in your backyard. Don't tell any stories about me, uh, but you are a Trump supporter. And tell me, first of all, what attracted you to him, to him in the first place? You know, it's his brashness. He's, uh, he's real life, right? He is uh, not a polished politician. He can't be bought by somebody else. He's his own man, and he's going to do things his own way. And it's very attractive to me from the start. Absolutely. And we've been talking this morning. A big issue for you is the wall. And you, what differentiates that from, say, tax reform, repeal and replace of Obamacare? Mm -hmm. Why is this debate coming up so significant? You know, um, so many of the things we, we've heard for years and years and years about taxes and other things that are very important to me as a voter, but uh, but immigration is, a, is, is a, I'm glad it's raised to the level that it is. I, I'm all for immigration, but when it starts with illegal immigration, you know, something needs to be fixed, right? We, we keep chasing the symptoms and wanting to fix things for people who are already here, like DACA, mm -hmm. but we never really fix the problem. Problem. And politicians have just talked about it for years. It's time to get it right. It's time to build the wall. And it's not anti-immigrant. It's about safety and protection for our country. Well said. Well yeah. said. Appreciate it. And where's my Christmas gift for this year? It's in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Renee, uh, you are a first-time voter for Trump, a stay-at-home mother. Your husband is a police officer. Uh, what, what brought you to Trump as a first-time voter? Uh, well, first of all, he's a retired police officer. My uh, son, oldest son, is an uh, air traffic controller. I have a flight attendant as a daughter. But it is uh, security. It security. is uh, a, a mother wants to protect their children, wants to protect their family. So um, I, too, am a deplorable. I um, am a phobic. Uh, so, Hillary, I am a phobic, but um, very, very educated, a very loving person. So uh, Has he lived up to your hopes as someone who voted uh, for the first time? Uh, yes, and I get that question all the time with family. Uh, family has been broken up uh, because of it, too. But, uh, um, yes, not everything I, I like about him, but. Um, I feel safe. You feel safe I with feel him safe. at the helm. Well, uh, there you have it. We've got the, the table of knowledge over here, which we're not going to get to. All, all Trump supporters all voted for him. Can I get a hand? Would you vote for him again? Raise your hand if you had a chance. So, folks, you can see it. I'm undeterred Trump supporters here at the Riverview Restaurant at Fo on Fox and Friends Breakfast, Breakfast with Friends, where we talk to the people, not the pundits.